dear sisters and brothers in christ retaining one's position good name and glory is one of the main concerns of us all we always wish to be advancing a little more ahead and placed above others jesus having been invited for a dinner in a pharisee's house so people trying to occupy places of honor and so he made very important comments and that is the context of today's gospel luke chapter 14 verse 1 and verses 7 to 14 the primary and important positions may vary according to the set of customs and values we have at we wish to be always above others we do not like to give up our rights for the sake of others it's only when we look at others from above we recognize how great we are and thus affirm our identity and greatness this thought is something which governs each one of us from birth to death we look at all things in a comparative way we would like to have a large and beautiful residence adequate vehicles a pretty good family a respectable position in the society etc which should be much larger and better than that of our neighbor everything is valued in a comparative perspective it's on the basis of these thoughts we can say jesus has formulated his words here jesus seems to be speaking as a wise person he says that he who wishes to occupy primary seats should behave prudently in a celebration if such a person goes and occupies the primary seats at the very beginning it can turn disastrous as someone more honorable may turn in and the host might come and request him to give that place to the one who has come in then indeed it's when the host invites someone to sit in the seat of honor a person's glory is revealed and enhanced for then that person will become more respectable before others but is jesus interested only in giving an advice which is human and not beyond jesus indeed wanted to say beyond just what a wise man would say it is said in verse 7 that jesus was telling a parable to them that means his talk has further implications jesus wants to say that seeking for positions and trying to retain positions are not the right perspectives in themselves we should leave the matter of assigning positions to the master of the house it's the master of the house who should decide the positions of the guests if that is a case of human masters much more so should it be with god therefore jesus says for all who exalts themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted this is verse 11 the usage here should be understood as theological or divine passive that is those who exalt themselves will be humbled by god and those who humble themselves will be exalted by god in fact the search for one's glory reputation and fame is considered as not pleasing before god it will be considered as a manifestation of egoism before god such selfishness will not be acceptable before god in fact it's god who establishes our worth value importance and greatness once god has given it then it will be final and full it's god who distributes our positions our value and glory cannot be assessed merely by our desires and aspirations the first reading taken from the book of jesus ben sirach or ecclesiasticus seems to go with this advice of jesus the reading is from sirach chapter 3 verses 17 18 and 20 and 28 and 29 in this verses 17 18 and 20 are significant and they go hand in hand with the view points of the gospel it is said thus My child perform your task with humility then you will be loved by those whom God accepts the greater you the are the more of this very gospel you must humble yourselves 
tell of this so that is the gospel of Luke in the sight of the Lord Mary in her magnificent oh, declares the might of the Lord he has but by humble shown strength to his arm he is God who determines the proud our positions in the God's of their hearts or honor is bestowed upon us by God down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly this is Luke chapter 1 verses 51 and 52 But the disciples were discussing among themselves as to which one of them was to be regarded as the greatest Jesus told them that the greatest among them must become like the youngest and the leader like the one who serves this can be seen in Luke chapter 22 verses 24 to 27 that means if one becomes a disciple of Jesus one is not to think in terms of one's own greatness and reputation but be earnest about serving others or be servants of each other Jesus also reminded the ones who sat at table with him of another matter it's usual and normal for us that we establish relationship with persons of our same level or status we keep company with the persons who are of the same dignity as we are we invite them for our feasts and celebrations and we attend their feasts and celebrations our circle of friends ends with the persons of our social and economic status indeed our circle is quite limited those who are poor and unfortunate are outside of our circle according to the desire and understanding of jesus it's required to break this circle and go beyond it people who are on the margins or in the peripheries should find a place within our circle four groups of persons are considered here as those who are within our circle our friends brothers and sisters relatives and rich neighbors in contrast to these are placed four groups of persons who should come within our circle the poor the crippled the lame and the blind according to human standards the company with the person so the last group of four will not produce any fruits it will not help us raise our social status at the same time according to jesus view communion with this latter group will become fruitful before god jesus does not say that one should not keep company with the first group of people who are within our circle but what should not be done is the exclusion or keeping away of the latter group when the latter group is invited and included in our banquets we will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous that we christians have such a hope is expressed in the second reading of today which is from the letter to hebrews chapter 12 verses 18 and 19 and 22 to 24a verse 23 is significant here it reads thus you have come to the assembly of the first born who are enrolled in heaven and to god the judge of all and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect dear sisters and brothers it's god who assigns our posts and positions our responsibility is to serve others not to look for the place of honor serving our neighbors especially the marginalized ones will surely find acceptance before god and we will be rewarded amen